If you like cars, then this is the story for you. We're talking car buffs here. These aren't your average vehicles, antique cars, collectible cars. This one is for you. Yes, automobiles used in things like the James Bond movies, cars used by royalty. You can actually check them out right here in Central Florida. Who knew? Well, New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona is live in Longwood right now where one man has a lot of those cars and he's pretty much dedicated his life to vintage automobiles, Carolina. That's right. This is where it all goes down. We're right in the garage of the owner. He has several classic cars, like particularly Rolls Royce. Check out this one right here. It's a 1967 Silver Shadow Rolls Royce. Of course, he's given it his own touch, but what beautiful vehicle, right? So now right behind me, we have a 1965 Silver Cloud Rolls Royce that he's currently working on. And of course, after some love and caring, he's going to bring them back, bring it back to life. And it will run and look beautifully once again. I claim that this was used in uh, Washington, D.C. to haul uh, all the British officials. This is a one-of-a-kind Rolls-Royce long wheelbase limo from 1958, now owned by motorsports enthusiast Larry Gary. He says it had been for Queen Elizabeth. He bought it 30 years ago, and it took him about six months to restore it. The paint was original and old and cracking, so I... I stripped it clear down to bare aluminum. It's a hobby that started when he was in high school. My first car I built from scratch when I was 17 years old. It was a 32 Ford. Girls like riding in it. <laughs> <laughs> he took us for a quick ride around his home, where he showed us other Rolls Royce that he owns, including a 1946 Bentley Speedster, all restored with his own hands. Check out this unique 1958 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Built special for the Lord High Sheriff of Belfast, Ireland, and he ordered it with the limousine-style headlights. Over at this restoration shop in Longwood, owner Bill Condren works on vintage British sports cars. This is a Daimler, which is a car that was only made for about three years. They made 2,500 of them in the early 60s. And then it's been completely re-gel coated, and then we sanded and blocked and sanded and blocked and re-gel coated. This 1959 Faisal Vega is currently under restoration. Back in the day, it was made famous by Hollywood stars like Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and Ringo Starr. Now, once the job is complete, it'll once again look like it did during its glory days. So what's the average cost for a restoration of a vintage car like a Jaguar? Between forty-five and $60,000 plus the parts and the materials. You can end up with seventy-five dollars to $100,000 in a complete antique Jaguar restoration. And as for what Larry has spent? Well, I don't want to talk about it. My wife might hear it. And uh, so a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was a lot of money. Of course, it's thousands of dollars that um, people that love restoring vintage cars have to put into. Now, Larry tells me that his grandkids have had an opportunity to take advantage of these vehicles for proms, weddings, and other special occasions. Now, I have a picture here of that Ford 32 vehicle that he built when he was just 17 years old. He tells us he built, he made it from scratch, so it's pretty neat. Uh, we just got this picture right now, and I wanted to, you know, showcase um, his talent because it's definitely a talent and a great uh, way to to bring these cars back to life. Uh, Bridget, you know, it's definitely something that I'm sure a lot of our male viewers are enjoying right now. You know, Carolina, anytime I see cars like that, I want to stop and take a picture. <laughs> he is so talented. Thanks for bringing us that yeah. story. <laughs>